This is the actual mechanical agitation, uh, whether you'd use it or not once it's up in the uh, vertical position. This actually moves the arm left and right. As you can see, it moves fairly easily. We're in the manual mode right now. If you uh, look over on the control panel there, it shows the positioning numbers for easy programming. Uh, currently, obviously, in position 379. Raising the machine back up. Moving it over one station. Dropping it back down. Then can be agitated in the down position. Kind of a neat little feature. show the positioning. So as he moves the arm during the programming, that is the, the number that you would set the position parameter in uh, so you don't set it down uh, in the middle of a wall or, or anywhere that it shouldn't be. Doug, maybe just cycle it up in the air and then just kind of move it, show it kind of moves all the way back and forth. We'll just bring it up in the air, cycle it all the way one side to another so you can kind of see the operation of the arm. Over here, being in the, being in the final position, I know this was a concern. We just show the nut right there that stops the arm right there in that final position. That that nut can be removed uh, along with that unit strut, so it can actually go farther to the right if you wanted to add another station. Uh, on the back here, you can see the hydraulic unit. Uh, also, the brand new hose that we installed this morning. The other one was, was bad when we turned it on, it started leaking, so we went and had a brand new hose uh, made and installed. Here's the actual pump, it's quiet, runs smooth, uh, it's a nice unit, so. Again, you can see on the control panel the, uh, the heater temperature controls. We disconnected the heater so they don't burn out when there's no solution in the tank. Um, so the heater controls are there. There's also timers on there as well. So.